Over the last two weeks, there's been news development. The High Court of Punjab in Haryana has dismissed all pending writ petitions that were holding back the construction of the expressway in Gurgaon. With this, now all 18 kilometers of the 150-meter wide speedway are legally a contiguous stretch and the road will be ready within a year. This comes as a huge relief to almost 90 real estate projects that are developing along its route. Vasudha Sharma finds out how this property market has factored in this big news. The legal go-ahead to the Dwarka Expressway has many saying that the dark clouds over this property market could be on their way out. Real estate companies developing residential projects along the Dwarka Expressway are heaving a sigh of relief. And so are investors and lenders whose crores are riding on this property corridor. Over 33,000 residential units are in supply across the 20 sectors that are connected by the Dwarka Expressway. Developers say now that this alternate link between Delhi and Gurgaon has been given the all clear, the property market here is back in the game. Dwarka Expressway, the prices have always been in the median bracket, medium bracket. They range from about four and a half thousand going up to about seven, seven and a half thousand per square foot. And we feel that the prices uh, should go up uh, by about 10, 15 percent. Uh, as the work on Dwarka Expressway progresses. So yes, the decision is very welcome, but execution is uh, equally important. So what should be the home buyer's strategy for Dwarka Expressway? The industry says it's a buyer's market and there is no time like now to get a deep discount. In fact, we've also seen a situation where a lot of uh, cancellations have happened from investors uh, because they are unable to find an exit. And so in this scenario, you, you, can, you still have that window with you. And I, I would recommend that uh, one should you know, very keenly focus on the secondary market uh, for purchases where there's still a little bit of stress on uh, the investors. Housing prices along the Dwarka Expressway haven't posted any significant growth in recent times. For investors, the idea is to wait and watch the progress of infrastructure to reap in some returns on their investments. Ultimately, there is inventory available and, and, and developers need to uh, start, uh, start to you know, get that inventory moving uh, you know, from their books. So I think uh, this is a good opportunity for investors uh, to get some uh, investments in at uh, attractive pricing. Like sector 109, 110A, 111, 112, uh, which is close to Delhi and the airport and the new diplomatic enclave, uh, should do better uh, just because it's closer to the airport as well as it's uh, proximate to Delhi. With the expressway project back on track, the next priority for authorities is to connect all these 20 sectors to basic services. All this land abutting the Gurgaon side of the Dwarka Expressway has been earmarked for a 135-meter-wide multi-utility corridor which will run up till the industrial model township of Manesar. All basic services like water, power and sewerage will be laid on this multi-utility corridor which will serve sectors 81 to 99. Also critical to improve the livability along the Dwarka Expressway are schools, hospitals and retail spots. End users must know that such big ticket infrastructure will take at least three to four years. With camera person AJ Joseph, Vasudha Sharma, NDTV.